This video is based on the D2L for the second year Millwright program, Math Self Tests. And this is the coefficient of linear expansion type question. The question asks, how much will a copper pipe with a length of 67 feet expand or shrink when the original temperature is 31 degrees Fahrenheit and its second temperature is 15 degrees Fahrenheit? It also asks for this number to be rounded to two decimal places. So the first thing we need to do is record the values that we've been given in the problem. So the length of copper, we're going to call LO for original length, is 67 feet. The initial temperature was 31 degrees Fahrenheit. And the second temperature was 15 degrees Fahrenheit. So the formula we're going to use is this one here. This little triangle represents the change. It's called a delta. Delta L is the change in length. This here, delta T, is the change in temperature. Then we have our original length, which is here, and the coefficient of expansion. This is just the symbol for coefficient of expansion. The material that this is made of is copper. Now the coefficient of expansion for copper you would need to find in a chart or a table. It would be this is the number that we'll use for the coefficient of expansion. So we have some numbers here already but we're still missing our delta T, our temperature change. We can find that with these two numbers. So initially, we're at 31 degrees Fahrenheit. If we were to draw this on a thermometer or a scale, we've got zero degrees there, 31 up here, and it comes down to 15, by the way, not to scale, obviously. So 31 degrees Fahrenheit down to 15 degrees Fahrenheit. This amount of change is all we're looking for. To find this, I take 31 and subtract 15. That gives me 16 degrees Fahrenheit. So the delta T in this case is 16 degrees Fahrenheit. So in order for this to work, the coefficient of expansion is given to us for inches, the unit's inches. I need to take my feet and multiply by 12 to convert it to inches. So that's 804 inches. Now I can put it in my formula over here. So my original length is 804. Then my coefficient of expansion Okay, now I'm ready to solve it. Type this into my calculator exactly as I see it. 0 0.129 something something something. We're going to round that to 0 0.13 inches. Now this is the length change. We need to determine if this is an expansion or a contraction. Because we started relatively warmer and we cool that copper pipe off to 15 degrees Fahrenheit. We actually cause that co copper piper to shrink, the copper piper, eh? the copper pipe to shrink. So in this case, we're going to get some shrinkage. So this is how you would solve a problem for coefficient of linear expansion. Thanks for watching.